Good morning. Welcome to St. Thomas's Sunday School. We, the children of God's creation, welcome the light and peace of Christ among us as we gather in his service. Let us receive the presence of the Holy Spirit and may the Creator guide us this day. As we light the Christ candle, let us remember that. Together, light is a gift from God. Jesus came into our midst as the light of the Holy Spirit to work and witness. Jesus Christ breaking into our lives, dispelling fear and doubt, setting us free to work and live. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Second Sunday of Lent. A reading from Mark chapter 8, verses 31 to 38. A difficult journey. For he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man is to be, be betrayed into human hands, and they will kill him. And three days after being killed, he will rise again. But they did not understand what he was saying, and were afraid to ask him. Then they came to Capernaum. And when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they were silent, for on the way they had argued with one another who was the greatest. He sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, Whoever wants to be the first must be the last of all and servant of all. Then he took a little child and put it among them, and taking it in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one, such child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. John said to him, Teacher, we saw someone casting our demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he was not following us. How blessed we are to have beautiful stained glass windows in our church. Often, stained glass windows tell the story of Jesus' life. Light comes through the windows and makes the colors glow. As you can see, the windows are made of small pieces of colored glass that fit together to form the picture. Have you ever thought of how stained glass windows are made? It is a difficult process. Working with glass is not only difficult, but dangerous. You must wear glasses to protect your eyes when working with glass, and many special tools are needed, such as glass cutters, glass grinders, and pillars. Small pieces of glass must be cut to exactly the right size. Sometimes the glass breaks in the wrong place, and you must be careful that the glass doesn't cut your hands. Even though working with stained glass is difficult, it is worth the effort because the end result is a beautiful, inspiring piece of art that can cause us to think about God's love. The Bible teaches us that following Jesus is a difficult thing to do. Jesus said, whoever wants to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Jesus warns us that to follow him is like carrying a huge heavy cross. Even though you choose to follow Jesus, there may be times when you have difficulty making the right choices and doing the right thing. You may get discouraged. Others may make fun of you. You might think it is just too hard to do, but it is worth the effort. In much the same way that stained glass is beautiful and inspiring, so too will your life be beautiful and inspiring to others when you show them God's love. Just as light comes gleaming through stained glass, God's light comes from within you, shining out for others to see. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help us to be willing to take up our cross and follow Jesus. We know it won't be easy, but it will be worth it. Amen.
Light is a gift from God, a gift to be shared. Jesus came into our midst as the light of the work, and the Holy Spirit is present to light our work and witness. Go forth into this day mindful of the light and the love of God. Together, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and evermore. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.